Well, here we go with fight number five, Andy. This one is very interesting. It is, yes. Finely poised because the man in the blue corner making his professional debut, bit of an unknown. Yeah, you've got um, in, the, in the blue corner, blue shorts, you've got Christian Adjifak. He's a Cameroon. He was a 2012 Olympian in London. Yeah. And he's stayed over here since. He, he's lived over, lived over in Stockton. He's been matched up to fight a few times. And I think his opponents or the teams have looked into him, found out about him, and they've pulled out of the fight. So yeah, it's a good shot by TK there, though. And the right hand again. <laughs> I think they're letting the bombs fly early yeah. on in this oh. one. Oh, it's a left hook put TK's down on the floor. Came out with his hands down there. Yeah, he caught him with his hands down, definitely. Now. TK takes the eight count, he looks a little bit unsteady on his legs still. First time he's been down, it's early in the round as well. What TK doesn't want to be doing is throwing any bad shots. He needs to get his hands up, yeah. get his composure and take his time. That's it, just let, let his head yeah. clear. How'd you fact looking to build on that? His opportunities <laughs> as TK. Oh! Wee! <laughs> I would have caught him. <laughs> <laughs> I would have let you. <laughs> well, we said this one was going to be uh, committed. It's already proven to be just that. Yeah, and TK doesn't really know how to take a back step, even though really sometimes he should be, you know. But that's his first crisis, and yeah, he, he, to be fair, he looks like he's, he's kept his head and he's calm. Both of them, I think, both know they didn't hurt each other. Yeah. TK landed with a big shot just before there. Yeah, I think this one only got matched either yesterday or Thursday, so... Yeah. I know, I know speaking of fighting chance, guys are really... They the want to kind of, like, push TK on a little bit yeah. and give him a test, whereas, like... Um, I know Adjifak hasn't had, like, any pro fights, but, like, there's a lot of fighters won't fight him because of his amateur pedigree. Yeah. So, I mean... On paper, going off the records and whatever people have seen, it is a bit of a step up for TK. Yeah. Uh, compared to the lads that he's been fighting before, so... I think both of them's looking for them big right hands, aren't yeah. they? Might just be a case of who connects with the first one in it. <laughs> that was on the top of the head by TK. Yeah. Actually, fact, will have certainly felt it, that's for yeah. sure. A Golovkin type of shot coming down, wasn't it? But if we get no more knockdowns or anything this round, it's, it's, it's going to be a 10 8. For TK, so he's, he's, he's going to have something to make up. And TK, TK is dropping his head and looking for them big right hands over the top. I think he should work in a little bit more. Adjifak looks like he's holding his holding himself well. Yeah. Straight up and down, very much still in the amateur style, like we had expected. It was a very explosive, explosive round. You've got to give. You've got to give it 10-8 though because of the knockdown. Yeah. The rest of the round was pretty even, Stephen. So I think TK responded well. Yeah. But he did he's come, he come back and he composed himself well, but it's still gonna be a 10-8 round, I, I think there, you know. And with it being a four round, that's exactly. half the fight, half the points um, scored with, you know he's gonna to have to do well to come back from that. He needs a couple of big rounds here and even get a knockdown of his own, you know. Well what I would say as well, when you get a when you get the big guys like this fighting at that sort of pace and intensity. They're going to start flagging towards yeah. the end. They're going to be both of them more vulnerable towards the end. And this one might not go all the way. Now you could see that with the two heavy hitters. When it starts getting later on, they're tired and the hands are dropping and they're leaving themselves a bit more exposed. And hopefully for TK, that was just like a, a shock at the start of the round. You know, he got caught cold a little bit. Waking him up. <laughs> Straight back into the action. Get up. Oh! Right. It's twice we've nearly joined the action. Yeah. 
I think when TK is throwing them combinations, though, he is kind of he, he's flustering Adjur Fak. Yeah. So TK gets the knockdown back. Wasn't the cleanest shots, but it was enough to put him off his yeah. feet. I don't know if the feet might have got tangled. They were certainly close together when that one landed there, but oh, great shot. Tell you what, if TK comes with it through this, it's sheer willpower. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, they're not close. <laughs> they're not far away, sorry, no. them shots. I think they should both show more commitment. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> not quite sure they're putting it up. <laughs> TK is really relying on that shot to catch him clean, but he's not really working his way in. He's just no. He needs to draw that shot, so he's just a little bit closer where he can throw his shots. He's leaving himself oh, open yeah. for them counter punches. Ah, Jafak putting a bit of pressure yeah. on his hand with a few shots here. I think because TK, TK look a little too a much, well, so much into it. A little bit bewildered there. At I think he's tiring. Yeah. Which is but understandable, you, but he's putting that much into it. And when you're putting, when you put, like we said before in the Tommy Ward fight, when you when you miss him with shots, they're very, very tiring. Yeah, he's walking onto shots, TK now. But if it, you know, if, again, if this round ends with no further incident, he's, he's leveled things. Yeah, he's leveled it up, aye. It's so pacing yourself now, isn't yeah. it? But it's he needs to he needs to just hold his form. It's so important when you're tired just to keep that keep that body form. Keep your shape. Yeah. The thing is from TK's point of view, he scored the knockdown in this round. He doesn't need to do too much more. Yeah. He's got a chance to keep his shape, keep yeah. his defence tight, regain some of his energies. But here when you're in a fight. Yeah, it's it's a different way. When the red mist takes over a bit and you're course. thinking the pair of them have been down each round you know and I think Adjifak's looking to, to, to box a little bit more but I think Adjifak's tired as well oh absolutely it's going to be a case of who can who can hold their form keep their shape and absolutely. box the best land with a cleaner shot you know and TK is still looking for the massive bombs he doesn't need it he just needs to be landing with a few shots see the round out get his win back not even halfway Gary, through the fight yet. I know Gary Ball won't be happy. He'll be he'll be kicking his backside in the corner a little bit with the way he's went on. Well, two rounds, two rounds, two knockdowns. Yeah. I'm just looking at both men in the corners there now. Both look tired, but I think. <clears throat> Who's put more into it? You'd, you'd have to say TK's put T a lot more energy into it. Yeah, I think TK's missing the bigger shots, the big sapping shots, and he's yeah he, he's got the weight over Adjifak, so that may be a, a, a contender later in the rounds when with the leaning on and things like that. He's got a good stone in a bit, you know. Um, I hope it just doesn't get messy and they lean onto each other and it gets all entangled. Well, I think with because both of them are tiring, I can see it getting a bit untidy from here on in. Oh, that's a great right hand. Good shot oh, by he's felt that. Yeah. Oh, he's leaving himself open again for the right hand. Oh, they really took on the middle. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Big. <laughs> My word. Obviously, when you get knocked out of the ring, a la Nigel Ben, you get a bit more time yeah. to get yourself rattled. I think, but not just the eight count. Tiki's, Tiki's. Oh, oh yeah. Hey. That could be a point off. That should be a point. That should be a point away. That's hitting the fella when he's down. That's um. Now what's what's going to happen here? What's going to happen now? He's cut TK. TK is cut. Now, obviously, the referee can give him a bit more time here to yeah. recover. Surely you can't give him a count for that. No, no, I think he. he had, I don't think he was counting. Oh, hey. We said this was going to be exciting before, Andy, and uh, yeah. it's nice to be proven right with these sort of things. 
I think it turned into a little bit of a circus there for the first couple of minutes. But I mean, TK caught him with some good shots. Obviously, oh, put him down. Ferocious. Smothered his work a bit and came back open. But as you fact, really late, he, he pushed him over. And I mean, it's a bit of foul play when you're punching a kid three, four, five times when yeah. he's on the floor. You know, that's desperation. But maybe he's just that exhausted himself. He's yeah. Here we go again. I think the composure definitely needs to be kept now. It's turned into a little bit of a gunslinging, gunslinging yeah. contest, oh, isn't blimey. it? Blamey. God, you think he's throwing the javelin with them right hands? <laughs> I know. He needs to get himself in range. He needs to work yeah. himself in range. I think again. I think he's just that knackered now. Yeah. Technical boxing terminology there. <laughs> But it's those big rights when he does land them, that's, that's been the difference. He's landing them, I mean, he's, he's, he's losing a good 50% of his power by the time they actually get there, but he is landing with the shots cleaner. <laughs> Unsteady, both unsteady on the legs. One thing you cannot say is they're not, <laughs> they're not giving it their all, you oh, know. Oh, my like, word. There's a lot of heart on show there. Both men have been down... Adjafax been down twice, have been through the ropes numerous times. Oh. Angry ref. I think he has to be in this fight. Absolutely. He needs, um, he needs to impose his dominance. Yeah, you can see Adjafax punches are also a lot more laboured now. Yeah. But when you know when your opponent is so tired. Even the smaller shots can... Yeah, they can. They, they, they can affect a lot more. Oh, a nice shot. It was actually a good shot by TK there. Good left hook. Well, we've got well, the end of the third. The How on earth are we going to do that one? Um, well, I don't T think TK, when he went down, I don't think that was counted. I think uh, Andrew Wright seemed to he show his fingers he, he to he a didn't, certain He didn't degree. quite know. I, I, I couldn't say that was a knockdown. Obviously, TK got the knockdown. Um, 10-8 to TK. How are you going I, would, I that? would say so. But you can see we'll, Andrew, Andrew Wright making his notes in his pad there now. I think he's just putting a massive question mark. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, in, in fairness to Andrew, there's, there's a few fights uh, he scored that I've not really been able to work out at the time, but we'll it's find all, out at the end, no doubt. It's all, it's all about perspectives, isn't it? It might not go down to the cards yet, you never know. Yeah. I mean, it looked like it was all over by the shout, and then at some point, for whatever reason, whether it was going to be a knockout, stoppage, disqualification, injury. Take your pick. Who, who says heavyweight boxing isn't exciting? <laughs> so we're in the, un remarkably, we're in the last round here. I know. Here we go. Will it be a fire and brimstone first minute like it was in the first four? Or are they going to settle down and do some boxing? Well, you think Gary Bond TK's corner will have been saying he might not. Oh, beautiful follow through with a left hook there. Yeah, I think well, TK put his weight behind it. When he is catching him, he is. Yeah. It, it, it's more dramatic and it's more eye catching because he, he is putting that so much effort behind it. But he has to be within range, doesn't yeah, he? Like he's, you say. He's got to hit him, otherwise, that whole momentum's wasted. Again, if he just throws the right one without launching it. I'm getting really uncomfortable when they're coming on the ropes. <laughs> I think TK just needs to like, he just needs to settle down with them few shots. He's well, he should be two points up now. So as long as he has no dramas, then you know, yeah. he's, he's, he'll, he'll basically come through his first crisis. But this this fight's had that much happen so far that you cannot predict what's going to happen next. No. You know, I think Tiki is just going to look where he's throwing his punches. If he looks where he's throwing his punches, without punching without himself out, he's, he's putting his head down a little bit and like swinging yeah. them over the top. He needs. I think. I think he needs to. He does need to make this because the fight's been the way that he has. He needs to make it clearly his this round. You know, and a, a couple of clean shots and Adjafak looks really tired as well. And well, there's a few times where TK has been missing wildly, and he's, he has left himself over because. Adjifax so tired, yeah. he hasn't been able to take advantage of that. I think, I think, Adj oh, is his shoulder popped out? 
think his shoulder's popped yeah, out. Yeah, he's left. Adjifax's left shoulder looks to be dislocated. Yeah. Point off. There's a point off. I think it was due to come. I mean, Adjifax being punched him in the back of the head and, and punched him when he's down and it was just yeah. one thing. Asked for another. Cumulation. I think the doctor left signal there to the referee to have a look at him. He's, he surely is out of the socket, I think. Oh. Obviously, when TK is actually pu pulling on his left arm there as well. Yeah. I think as long as the referee's not stopping it, TK has got to take advantage of it, hasn't yeah. he? Well, you just think back to Danny Williams again. Uh, was it Mark? Yeah. <laughs> Can't remember. He had exactly the same injury and he stopped him. I mean, both both men have shown tremendous, tremendous guts and heart in this oh. fight, you know. And well, it shows that the heart of Adjifak when he's, he has just got the one arm there yeah. after a fight like this and he... There's no quitting him so far, that's for sure. <laughs> Tough men. Oh, both hey. of them, you know. How much does that mean to him? I know. That's great to see that. So you're that. taking with the point there and the way TK finished, I'm sure. It's going to be another 10 year round, really, isn't it? Because yeah. of the point taken off. So we've got... 38, 34? Mm, yep. 38-34. That's, <laughs> That's an unusual score, isn't it? <laughs> I see the referee's cock was anywhere yeah. near that. Should be similar, I would have thought. Very entertaining, Phil. Very oh, entertaining outstanding. Fight. It was actually... I expected it to be a good, tough matchup. Yeah. But it was more than I expected. Bit untidy at times, but when, you, yeah, well, when I, the throw was so much commitment, you're going to get a bit of that. I think we'll see. It wasn't the prettiest, but it was one of the best. <laughs> well, I don't know how on earth that worked out. 40 36. Let me just mention that. 40 36. Andrew Wright. I'm going to pop and see you later on, and you can watch this video back, and then you can give me your explanation. Okay, we have ringside with John TK. Where do we start with that one? Let's start with the first round. Yeah. You've got to say that was probably your first crisis as a pro. Yeah. It's the first and hard test for me. Yeah. To be honest, I enjoyed it. And the thing was, well, being in the Olympics 2012 means nothing to me. And with the old man Ron and with Gary, we always prepare for anything. He wanted a war, I gave him a war. And then simple. Some. Now, that, when you went down in the first round, yeah. you, you, you moved out with your arms down, yeah. and, and you know, split and second, quite, that's all it takes. It, it happens, he's boxing, but, but you, I got callous. You cope with I, it, though? I got callous. I just came back, I just came back. So, I knew it was his pro debut, and he was thinking of coming up here with Phil Jeffries to make an upset, but I don't think so. I don't think so, but what a great fight, great action, great commitment from both of you. It takes two to tango in there. Yeah. But you made a statement there today, you've been, you've yeah. been tested. You've I've been, been tested, and the thing is, if you want a rematch, have a word with Ron, feel they can get together, we can go for a sixth round the next time. Oh. If he wants another war, I'll give him another war. It doesn't mean to me, if he's been, he's been in the 2012 Olympics, it means nothing to me, to be honest. It means nothing. I'll happily watch the fight again. I don't know about it, I've got Lewis Pendleton here, a ringside oh. here with you, who made the fight. Yeah. I just want to, sorry, right. I just want to dedicate my uh, win to my uh, old man, Ron and my two daughters and my wife. Thank you. Lewis Pendleton, your thoughts on that one? Good matchmaking, wasn't it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Who did the matchmaking? Uh, combination, combination. Well done, Mick Marston, but uh, Jesus Christ. I've lost my voice, I've lost my voice, so. Yeah. Super, super, well, super. You're Domingo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. G great fight, great matchmaking, great performance from TK. More to come. Yeah, exciting, exciting times. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, you go and join your man there now. I'm going to get back to the commentating. Thanks. Cheers, Lewis. Cheers, mate. Thanks.